<laughs> okay, item number two. This is a request for a parking exception to allow conversion from a computer repair store to a Hoka bar. I hope I pronounced that okay. right. <laughs> Hoka. Hoka? Okay. Hoka bar. But <laughs> you tell I've been to one. Um, without providing additional parking per Chapter 12, 100, 120 of the San Bruno Zoning Ordinance. Staff. Thank you. As stated, the applicant has applied for a parking exception to establish a hookah bar within the Central Business Zoning District. Um, the site is located on San Mateo Avenue on the west side of the street in the 500 block, and it's located directly adjacent to the Taekwondo business. Um, again, the Architects Review Committee did approve this project for facade funding, which included new paint for the entire structure and a new awning with signage. Um, regarding the hookah bar, the proposed hours of operation will be Sunday through Thursday, 1 p.m. to midnight, and on Fridays and Saturdays, it would be open between 1 p.m. and 2 a.m. Um, it is important to note that a hookah bar is a permitted use within the Central Business Zoning District, so the only, only item we're looking into tonight is the parking. So we're strictly looking at the parking aspect of this business. Um, regarding the parking, the previous retail tenant required a one space per 250 square feet of gross floor area, and the proposed hookah bar requires one space per 100 square feet of gross floor area. This results in a net difference of 11 parking spaces. Staff conducted the same parking analysis um, for this proposed hookah bar as we did for the Taekwondo business. Um, again, we analyzed three sites. Um, the total area has 185 parking spaces. Um, during the daytime hours, the occupancy rate was 56%, and during the evening hours, the occupancy rate was 43%. Um, it is important to note that the parking demand significantly decreases during the later evening hours as many of the proposed uh, many of the businesses are closed. Um, therefore, the overall results of the study indicate that there is enough parking downtown to support this use. Um, staff supports this project and recommends that the Planning Commission approve the parking exception subject to conditions of approval 1 through 15. I'm available for any questions that you may have. Thank you, Matt. Any uh, questions? Through the chair. Commissioner Marshall. Uh, can you, um, well, maybe it's an applicant question, but could you just describe the business a little bit more? I mean, is it food, alcohol, drinks, or just smoking, or? Um, there will be a retail component, so they will be selling to, uh, hookah tobacco, and there will be smoking involved. However, no food or drink will be allowed to, is I'm allowed to be garbage, served. for garbage reasons, so we have no, no reason to worry about, like, restaurants? Yeah, there, there will be no food generated, so I don't think there will be a tremendous increase in garbage. Thank you. Any other questions? To the chair? Yes, Commissioner. Uh, two questions about the um, <clears throat> condition uh, conditions of approval. Number, look at number 12. It says a licensed architect will submit the uh, plans. Is that a requirement by the state? Uh, that was a request made by the building official that a licensed architect submit plans for a commercial property. Really? And it, this was in the requirement for the property we just approved uh, previous to this? They're, they're not proposing any um, work to the proposed um, retail area. The Taekwondo business, they're strictly moving in, therefore no, no building permit would be required. Okay. Um, and then the second question was uh, regarding condition number 13. I, I see that the, uh, the, uh, the application previous to this was also going to install a bike rack. Now, this is the same property, technically. Correct. So is it two bike racks or one? I would say one bike rack, but we, if you would like two bike racks installed, we could make Well, it space. doesn't make sense to install two one-person bike racks. It's going to take double the amount of space without giving much benefit. So one bike rack with more spaces is more appropriate. OK. Through the chair. Commissioner Marshall. Matt, maybe, I, I mean, I don't know the building perfectly, but I think the, the Taekwondo that doesn't have, really have an exit out the back because you're talking about the bike racks going to be in the back, I'm guessing, right? Th don't Correct. they enter, don't they exit towards really the, the neighbor's yard where the, the hookah bar has a side entrance that goes into that mini parking lot? The, the hookah bar does have um, two two entrances and two exits, um, off of San Mateo Avenue and to the rear of the building. Right, but isn't it the rear to the side? Yes, it is to and the so, side. I mean, yeah. it really, I mean, putting a bike rack, I mean, there's really no access to from the Taekwondo over to that, that area. Am I, am I correct? Correct. Yeah. Even though it's the same building, they really have they don't have the same exits. Okay. Fair enough. That's all I have. Any other questions? 
No? Okay. Thanks, Matt. Would the applicant please step to the uh, microphone and describe what are the hookah bars? <laughs> For those who don't know. <laughs> How you guys doing today? My name is Amitesh Maharaj. Um, I'm going to be the owner of uh, Paradise Hookah Lounge. Um, you know, I want to give you, you know, I want to say thank you for giving me this opportunity today to stand up, you know, before you guys. Um, I started smoking hookah when I was 23 years old, born and raised in uh, Fiji Islands. Uh, came over here when I was nine years old, landed in SFO, grew up in South San Francisco High School. Well, in South San Francisco area, downtown um, San Bruno as well. Um, I have a lot of families, you know, friends out here in the um, Bay Area, a lot of people who knows me. Um, hookah bar is something a lot of college students do. Um, even older people as well, you know, ages from anywhere from 18 to you know, 46, mostly. Um, it's tobacco flavored. There's no, you know, I would say, <laughs> it's water, water type tobacco. I would be push, uh, putting ice in the base. Um, it's pretty, you know, normal stuff for a lot of people just to do. And you know, um, just relax. Okay. Thank you. Any questions for the applicant? No. Okay. Everybody's familiar with the hookah bar. Very good. All right. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and it was hookah. <laughs> I think we're all over forty-six, so we're not going to be going down there. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> Okay, is anybody from the public, uh, would, would anybody from the public wish to comment on this particular item? No? Okay, well, we'll close public comment and bring it back to the commissioners for discussion, motion. What's the pleasure? Through the chair. Commissioner Smoot. Yeah, I'd like to make the motion that uh, we approve parking exception 10 001 based on findings of fact 1 2 and conditions of approval 1 through 15. All right, we have a motion and a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? All right, the ayes have it. Congratulations. There is a 10-day appeal period, and um, that's it. Thank you very much.